Hey, Sack Guy here. Uh, today I've got kind of a cool knife. Uh, at least I think so. It's the uh, Rough Rider Reserve number 19, the Swish. Now, this knife is fairly large, and it came in a tin. And let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Came in the tin, and to show the difference in the size of this and the previous Rough Riders, this is the tin for the others. And you can see the difference in the light there. So, give you an idea how big this knife is. Now, this is, like I said, the swish closed. This is six inches. Now, it came wrapped up in the microfiber cloth and the craft paper and rubber band and all that. But uh, it's got the black micarta scales and uh, the blade okay as I said handle is six inches which is a hundred and fifty two millimeters the blade is four point seven five inches that comes out to a hundred and twenty millimeters Overall length is 10.75 inches, which is 272 millimeters. Has the swing guard, as you can see. Weighs in at 7 ounces, and that is 200 grams. So it's a rather hefty knife also. It's got some weight to it. Um, now, to me, this knife is reminiscent of the Case Cheetah, which has the swing guard. Not quite as big. This is much bigger, but it reminds me of that. It's got a um, straight back with a swedge and then a uh, saber grind. Now it's a lock back, and as you close it, you see the the sw guards swing down towards uh, flush on the uh, scales there. Now it's got a match pull, match strike pull finger nick there it's got a very light uh, pull for the opening I would say about a three um, it's very easy to open it's got the half stop and then locks open it has a lanyard hole here brass liners as I said black micarta scales Nickel silver pins with the nickel silver uh, bomb shield and uh, stainless steel or steel uh, bolsters with the uh, groove cut into them. Two at the one end and one at the other. It's a very cool knife. Uh, like I said, it's got the guard up here so if you're stabbing something your hands not going to run up onto the blade I remember reading something about uh, knives that were like this back in the early 1900s uh, they were used for knife fighting uh, another reason for the uh, swing guard and again, if you're uh, holding it and you stab into somebody or something and hit a solid object, your hand's not going to slide up onto the blade and cut yourself. It is D2 steel, and on the back you can see 
It says uh, Triple R19 D2 made in China and then Rough Rider Reserve on the front. Now it's got this uh, space right here on the blade that's uh, hollowed out. I'm thinking it's just for uh, aesthetics and um, maybe to lighten it up a little bit. Other than that, I see no purpose for it. Like I said, it's got the swedge, the Max Strike nail neck. It's a very cool knife. Uh, I don't buy all the uh, Rough Rider Reserve knives. Um, I just get the ones that I are, find interesting. And this one was definitely one. When I was looking at it online, I was kind of iffy about it. Uh, I went to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, stopped there on my way back home on a trip. Went by the Rough Rider Reserve counter, saw this, asked to look at it, and I was like, oh yeah. I don't know what it is, but just thought it was cool. And uh, got one. The fit and finish on it are pretty good. I don't see any gapping on the back there. And um, with close, you know, when it opens up and it locks in, there's no blade wiggle. And uh, it is just a solid, sol solid knife there. And then, like I said, it's got the half stop. So. Uh, one thing I remember on the um, case knives uh, back in the 70s and 80s when I saw them, they had a little bit of wiggle on them, uh, especially on the uh, cross guard there. And uh, that's probably one reason why I didn't get them. I saw this one, liked it, grabbed it, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and remember, always be prepared.